I've been using Macs my entire adult life, and I just picked up the base model of the new Surface laptop, which has good hype behind it, mostly around the processing power and the battery life, thanks to a new ARM chip. This box setup is pretty slick. Uh, I really like how it's opening like a treasure chest. Picking it up, my first impressions out of the box are that it's pretty light. Looking at the front of the box, this little part has a handful of manuals in it. And under that is the charging cable. This connector attaches magnetically. And then this is the power cable that goes into the wall. Oh, okay. Not as smooth as I was hoping for there. All right, let's toss that aside. Very nice. Clean design. It reminds me in ways of the older MacBook Air from around 2020-2021. On the left side, there's a headphone jack, two USB-C slots, and one USB-A slot. On the right is a charging dock, though I was hoping it was an SD card reader. Here we go. Windows logo. Don't need that. Just a moment. Hmm, okay. Well, while we're waiting, let's take another quick look at the body. Very slim profile, tapers down as you get towards the front, which is super similar to that older MacBook Air. You know what, since we're still waiting, I'll go grab that. On the top is the MacBook Air from 2021. It's a bit slimmer than this Surface laptop, though I imagine having this USB-A port on the surface gives it a limit on how slim it can be. And maybe the display having touchability is what makes it thicker as well. All right, here we go. Let's get it set up. And that was quick. Checking for updates. Okay, uh, possible 30 minutes of updates. Well, I just wanted to get into using the laptop. This is a different experience from setting up a Mac where you just cruise through setup and then get straight into the OS. I'll assume these updates are just like critical bug fixes. Let me know in the comments if this is a normal Windows experience. Well, while we wait, let's do a quick comparison of the trackpad with my 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro. So here's what the Mac sounds like. And here's the surface. I'm really liking how this Surface Laptop trackpad feels. It has more of a soft thunk, which I'm pretty into. It's satisfying. It's similar to the Mac with being a trackpad that doesn't physically move, it's just vibrating from haptic motors. I'm impressed. Back to waiting. The keyboard feels nice. Uh, it's pretty quiet, but with a satisfying enough amount of click. If that makes sense. These keys are a little smaller than what I'm used to, but we'll see how it is once I get to typing out documents and just general use. So the update is still doing its thing. Let's take a closer look at the accessories in the box. Here's one end of the charging adapter. It's a rubbery feeling cable, and that's fine. It reminds me of old MacBook cables before Apple made the move to woven cables. The charging end connects to the Surface Laptop magnetically, though it has to go into this slot. So you have to put in a little bit of an effort to get it in properly. For comparison's sake, this is a braided MagSafe charger for my MacBook Pro and you can kind of just toss it near the connection point and it'll connect. Still updating. We're in. Let's get to dark mode and change the wallpaper. This is the stuff I remember from when I was a teenager, which is the last time I used Windows for personal use. Since I'll be using this for at least a week or two, I'll need to put some editing software on here. I've been using CapCut lately since it's pretty storage friendly and it has good transition options, among other things. Cannot install. I've seen this happening with some others as well. Guess we'll go old school and just download it straight from the site. Shouldn't have any issues there. I won't bore you with that whole process. So I've shut down my Mac, put it back in its box, and it's in the closet. If all goes well, expect a video in a week or two about my experience with this new Surface laptop. Thanks for watching.